And uh, how do you create it, LA Guns, the band? How what? How do you create it, LA Guns, the band? I, I was in Wasp. Yes. When they started LA Guns. Yes. So it was all a bunch of guys from LA, and uh, after I got out of Wasp, I joined LA Guns. Mm -hmm. And uh, your most popular songs on Last FM radio are The Ballad of Jane, Sex Section, and Never Enough. Tell us about the histories of those great songs. Uh, Sex Action is our signature song from the first album, and it, it's LA Guns to the core. Uh, Ballad of Jane was a, our biggest hit, and uh, we play both of those every night. And uh, Never Enough, was the third yes, one? Yes, the yeah, third. that was a big hit for us too in the United States. So uh, Never Enough was a, a very good song for us. We love all three, and we play them all, all the time, Rip and Tear, all of them. Yes. And uh, the history of Never Enough, how was written the song? That was a different type of song when we first wrote it. And uh, we brought somebody in to co-write with us on that one song. And they, uh, we, it all came together with a friend of ours who came in and, 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 and just finished it off for us. That's, that's how that came together. It was a totally different song when we first wrote it. Okay. And uh, when could we expect a new album or a new song? Uh, we're going to do four songs on iTunes, mm -hmm. so everybody can get them easy. Okay. And uh, doing a record anymore, uh, it's very difficult. To get it distributed in stores, get it on the radio, very hard now. So now we're going to do songs on iTunes, the fans can get them very easy. Okay. And what do you remember of the Wasp years? Very good. We were great. Great band. The first Wasp. Okay. With Randy Piper, Chris Holmes, me, and Blackie. He's a great band. And now Wasp, your opinion? Wasp is still a very good band, but it's not very much a band anymore. It's just Blackie with a bunch of good musicians, and they sound great. But before, it was a real band, and there was four different personalities, and it was it, it had a band feel to it. Right now, it's Blackie with other people. And how you may describe your own music style of LA Guns? It's, uh, it's street rock. It's street rock and roll, and it's very simple rock and roll, and hard rock, and uh, but we're one of the bands that do many styles. We do many styles, and we, we go from something like Magdalene and Malaria <laughs> to something like Ballad of Jane. So we do everything. We try to do everything, not just one style. And uh, your favorite bands are? Old bands. I like the 60s and 70s on uh, Black Sabbath, Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, you know, Cream. All I love, I still listen to all of that. And Steppenwolf. <laughs> and Steppenwolf. <laughs> and the future plans for LA Guns are? It, it touring because we are a live band now. And there's not a lot of, like I said, records out. There's not a lot of radio play. There's not a lot of TV. So we're fortunate. We're able to show the world and keep playing all the time. And that's all we wanted to do anyways, is just play all the time live. And where do you find the inspiration for your music, for your songs? Uh, you lyrics? know what? We just love all kinds of music. So we pull from all, so many inspirations, so many different people we pull from. And the most difficult period for LA Guns was? Uh, the 90s for everybody in LA. It was a very difficult period. It was a period when it wasn't cool to like anything from the 80s. Now, the 2000s, everybody's got respect for us. They realized there was a lot of good songs, a lot of good music, and so now it's cool to like LA Guns and us bands like us again. And the most lucky per period is now, yes. I'm sorry? <laughs> the, the most lucky period for the band. Yeah, yeah, we're very, very fortunate. Where we made a mock and people know who we are and we got a whole set of material that everybody's very familiar with so we can play all the time. And is it difficult to work only as a musician? Um, no, and that's what I wanted to do all the time. I didn't want to be a rock star. I wanted to be a drummer that worked all the time. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm playing drums. I've been playing drums since I was six years old. Mm -hmm. So now I'm playing drums and I'm making a living at it and I like it. Okay. And here is the place you, may, you can tell something special to your Bulgarian fans, to your Romanian fans. Yes. Your motto or anything you want. I am happy I'm going to be in Bulgaria and Romania and we've never played these countries before 
and I, we toured Europe so many times with Wasp and LA Dance, but we never come to Bulgaria, never come to Romania. We're very excited. There's a lot of rock fans here. We, we love it. Okay, thank you very much. Ah, thank you.